CJ Bosons. And a cut to the left side. And he is in for the season. So when you don't have to drop the shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes a look. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And all the way in. Touchdown. On third and one, Wilson. And able to find Graham. Complete. <laughs> And able to find Graham complete. <laughs> Touchdown. You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. Adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show him one thing, kill him with something else. It's a 10 yard pickup and it moves the chains. And that's a good sign right there as we start the third quarter. Because in the first half, not much space to run the football. And as we go into the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, what's the adjustment? What do they have to do? You know what a lot of the adjustments are? No adjustments. You know the game plan, been working on it all week. Maybe a little tweak here or there, a little bit better blocking. And now you're establishing the running game. On the give, this is their fullback. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Let's go, let's go. Move the and on the ground they go with a running back. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things right, anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. He finds his man, Baldwin. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra in the end with a short run. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not put too much zone? You have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. And it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to the zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. The end zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Is winning at the front of attack. And a nice pitch and catch to pick up the reception against man coverage. Both of them read how much yardage they needed, figured what they had to do, and were able to beat the man coverage for the completion. Looking for Avalon, it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at 